Welcome back to another short and sweet, where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that uh, Heaven Hill sent us the new Bernheim cast strength, or barrel proof, is what they call it. They call it barrel proof, yep. It means the same thing, but some people wheat choose whiskey. a side. Yeah, the wheat whiskey. So this is the same mash bill that's in the normal Bernheim, but this one they don't cut down. 125.2 proof. That's right. To be exact. Aged roughly seven to nine years. Mm-hmm. And that mash bill, it's a barely legal wheat whiskey, but mm -hmm. it is a wheat whiskey. It's a 51% wheat. 37% corn. 37 corn. And then, and then math. 12% malted barley. There you go. 64.99 is the suggested retail on this guy. And a this one's only a two time a year release, unlike mm -hmm. the Larceny and the Elijah Craig, which right. come out three times a year. This one's only two times a year for now. It smells like toast. <laughs> toast and a little bit of chocolate. Perfectly done toast. Mm. Perfectly toasted toast. I, say toast again. I dare you to say toast, toast again. I do like a good piece of toast. With honey. With honey, yeah. It smells like toast with honey, which makes sense with the 37% corn. Yeah. You know, coming through the with the wheat. Yeah. Yeah, I think that toast for me is also that little bit of chocolate that I'm picking up. It's sort of like mm. a. That yeah, darkness. That darkness. Whatever. N N Nutella or whatever. Okay. Alrighty. To your health. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Speaking of darkness. Goodness. A little bit of a thinker here. Oh, well, we're still on the ride, I feel like. Yeah, that's why I'm like. No words yet. It goes a little chocolate. <laughs> yes. A maltiness, a chocolate. I mean, it does have 14%, or I'm sorry, 12%. 12%, 12 malted which barley. Which is their normal percentage. Which makes percentage. sense. I go for one more. Yeah, second sip. It's sweet up front, but then it swiftly goes into, yeah, kind of like a slightly overdone toast. Towards the end, it comes in with a little more maltiness and chocolatey. Still, again, that, that's like honey sweetness up front, yep. then overdone toast, then kind of malty and chocolatey towards the finish. I agree with that the the overdone toast I'm still picking up is like a chocolate, chocolate. or like a Nutella type of thing. Hmm. I like the proof, but I do feel like I want more from it somehow. <laughs> I think it's I, the mouthfeel that we're, that we're I think it might the be the texture. mouthfeel, yeah, the texture. And yeah, I guess it feels a little thin. Maybe. It has, I mean, those are like the three flavor notes I'm picking up, but I don't, I'm having trouble digging in farther than mm. that. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it sit here in, in the glass for a momento. So what should we talk about while we wait? I know, our home on the internet, SwissGambitions.com. So we can get uh, the t-shirts and hat that I'm wearing, Sarah, the sweatshirt that you are wearing. It's very cozy. Of course, both of the Glencairns we're drinking from are water glasses as well. In fact, all of our glassware. Bottle cut candles, elemental elixir syrup, and more always coming soon at WhiskeyAmbitions.com. And you can become a patron at Patreon.com slash It's Bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month he was drinking water uh that's where you can get discounts on that merch like we were talking about exclusive access to after the episode specials and barrel picks and lots more stuff yeah then barrel picks okay well that wasn't very long let's put up one of those 10 minutes later cards 10 minutes later and we're back at it smells the same looks the same tastes the same feels the same what's the last one sounds the same it sounds like the ocean it does Okay, third sip, uh, hmm. Third sip, I'm getting more of a, a syrup. I think that's the honey sort of morphing. The honey and the chocolate that I was sort of picking up kind of morphing into more of like a syrup type of thing. I'm feeling the same yeah. about it. I mean, I think maybe perhaps the texture's improved slightly just from sitting, but in the past, when we've tried, you know, the Bernheim wheat barrel whiskey. proof uh, wheat whiskey, it hasn't been my favorite. Like if I had to rank the multi time of year releases from Heaven Hill, this one would be kind of at the bottom of my list. Not that I think it's a bad product. Sure. It's just a lot of other ones resonate with me personally better. And I do still, like this one hasn't really changed my mind. Mm -hmm. Well, it is a new kid on the block. I think they might be trying to still find their footing a little bit. I do from memory like this better than the first yes. release. I would agree with that. Yeah, so I do think they're trending in the right direction. So I'm interested to see what the second release in 2024 is gonna be like. But I'm kind of with you. It's no Elijah Craig barrel proof, of but course. Will be, that's know. a, you know, now 11 to 13 year, <laughs> what we experienced lately. Um, and then the Larceny is also around this age range. Mm -hmm. And also Six around eight, this I price think. range. Yeah, but I would still put Larceny at a weeded bourbon over the over wheat, the wheat whiskey. whiskey, but who knows? It is enjoyable, and I do think the price is right. 
for the age and the proof, and most importantly, because all those things are just subjective, subjective numbers, um, is the taste. I feel like it's it's around what it is. I wouldn't pay any more than $65 for this if people were asking for it, but mm. pretty enjoyable, but we're hoping it still continues to go upwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like, it, I mean, it's definitely not a bourbon. It is a wheat whiskey, so I think it falls into that category of when you're looking for something different and you still want something that uh, isn't uh, cut down with water to proof. I think this would be a, a decent option for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Evan Hill. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.